This educational module will provide you with an overview of MasterCard's Enhanced Dynamic Currency Conversion, or DCC, compliance program. We will take you through the components of the DCC compliance program and utilize a case study to illustrate key aspects of the program. Before we delve into the overview of MasterCard's Enhanced DCC compliance program, let us take a moment to explain dynamic currency conversion. DCC, also known as Point of Interaction or POI currency conversion, is a service that is offered to cardholders by acquiring banks and their merchants. DCC enables the cardholder to choose to pay in either his or her home currency or the currency of the merchant location. While DCC is not a MasterCard service, there are MasterCard standards that must be followed by acquirers and merchants who offer DCC. The Enhanced DCC Compliance Program is designed to ensure that DCC services are offered in compliance with MasterCard rules. The program allows MasterCard to provide support to acquirers, their merchants and issuers while enforcing the rules, thus increasing cardholder confidence in the service and providing a single global point of contact for DCC. Let's take a look at an example of DCC compliance. Meet James a British tourist on vacation in Belgium, who is using his UK-issued MasterCard while there. Before heading home to London, James stops by a Belgian chocolate shop and decides to pay with his UK-issued MasterCard. Upon inserting his card into the terminal, he is prompted by the merchant and the terminal screen to select which currency he would like to complete his transaction, euros or British pounds. In addition to displaying the amounts in each currency, the terminal also shows the currency conversion rate that would be applied should James select to complete the transaction in his home currency, British Pounds, thereby utilizing the DCC option being offered by the merchant. MasterCard requires that the merchant inform the cardholder that the decision whether to be charged in his home currency via DCC is for the cardholder to make. Additionally, as with James, the merchant must clearly communicate the local currency, the cardholder's home currency, and the currency conversion rate that will be used should the cardholder elect to use DCC. Finally, the merchant must accept the cardholder's decision and complete the transaction. Returning to our Belgian chocolate shop, James has reviewed the amounts displayed on the screen as well as the currency conversion rate and has decided to complete his transaction in British pounds. He selects British pounds and, once his transaction is approved, he is handed a receipt that includes the sale amount in local currency, the transaction amount in his home currency, the conversion rate that was applied. This is an example of a merchant who is compliant with the MasterCard DCC standards. In addition to POS terminals, an ATM acquirer may also decide to offer DCC services to cardholders at ATMs. The MasterCard standards for DCC at ATMs are similar to the requirements for DCC at merchants. The ATM screen must provide the cardholder with all of the information reasonably necessary to make an informed decision. This information includes the currency exchange rate and the withdrawal amounts in both the home and local currencies. Screen messages at ATMs or unattended POS terminals should prompt the cardholder to select between two explicitly stated currency options, such as between British pounds or euros, and not between a yes or no answer option. Offering only yes or no answer options is an indirect choice measure and is prohibited by MasterCard. Instead, the options should be direct. For example, charge my account in British pounds, or charge my account in euros. Now that you understand the DCC process as it pertains to the cardholder, we will provide an overview of the DCC process as it pertains to the acquirers. MasterCard has four key requirements for acquirers offering DCC. Registration, data elements, successful audits, and effective action plans. Let's review each requirement in depth. The first requirement is registration. MasterCard requires that all acquiring interbank card association numbers, or ICAs, that are to be used to offer DCC, first be registered via the Manage My Company tool in MasterCard Connect. During the registration process, the acquirer will be prompted to register any service provider being used to help offer DCC services for the ICAs being registered. 
It is important to note that registration must be done on an annual basis as it expires after one year. The second requirement is that all DCC transactions be identified by the acquirer in the transaction through Data Element 54, a field used for indicating additional amounts within the transaction data. MasterCard's third DCC requirement is that merchants, ATMs or unattended POS terminals pass audits that are conducted. Audits are used to confirm compliance with DCC rules, such as cardholder choice and displaying the currency conversion rate and the amounts in both home and local currencies. A complete list of DCC requirements that are audited can be found in the MasterCard Point of Interaction rules. Finally, MasterCard's DCC fourth requirement is that an effective plan be in place to correct deficiencies. Should any issue be detected, MasterCard will communicate the issue to the acquirer and a corrective plan will be agreed upon and implemented. Acquirers must comply with any actions agreed to in the remediation plan. Congratulations on completing the MasterCard Enhanced DCC Compliance Program Module.